This is the Vine Needle. My name is Nell. Andy. Andy. Uh, <laughs> we're going to be doing a reading for Leo. Uh, ten cards, Celtic Cross, and uh, yeah, Agent cards. Yep. Uh, yeah. Gabriel or Adonai. <laughs> how, how would they call Is that like Angel Guidance? Or? Yeah, Archangel Guidance. Okay. Yep. Cool. Words of wisdom for our peeps. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just load a bonus, so. Okay. Thank God, Celtic Cross. Let's see what comes out for Leo for the second week of February. To 2020. Yeah, 2020. You can't see Miss Kitty, but she's sitting here napping while we do the readings. Yeah, she's like... She's dozing. not helping tonight. She's dozing. She was helping keep the cards on the table last night. <laughs> or night before, actually. Yeah. Yep, yep. Okay, let's see for Leo. For the Pussycats! <laughs> <laughs> Don't call it that! <laughs> Leo is like, <laughs> Pussycats, that's like, no. Okay. <laughs> Current situation for Leo. What's the current situation for Leo? Oh. Nine of Swords. I'll open the head, eh? I'll open the head. Yep. Yep. Somebody. Sounds right. <laughs> Somebody, yep. <laughs> Mr. Leo Rising? Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not gonna go into that. <laughs> We'll go into that tomorrow, probably. Yeah. 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 We'll do a stream on it. So, what's the challenge with that card, Leo? What is the challenge with that card? Okay. Nine of Wands. That makes sense. Yep. Okay. <laughs> what's been going on in the recent past for Leo? What's been going on in the recent past for Leo? Four of Wands. What will be in the near future for Leo? What will be in the near future for Leo? What will be in the near future? Oh, okay. Justice card. Cool. What's going on in your Conscious minds, Leo. What's going on in your conscious mind? Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Are you flaring? No, I'm actually hot. Yeah, I'm hot too. <laughs> it's doing these readings. I was two days ago. I was like uh, doing readings for uh, other signs and. I was like, this takes a lot of energy. It really does. Yeah, it's like, when him and I focus, especially together. Yeah, it's it's intense. It's, and we actually get hot. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> it's crazy. And not that kind of hot. You guys keep your minds in the clean spot. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Hmm. We won't, but you guys should. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Pretty cats. <laughs> mm. Yep. Unconscious man for Leo. What's on the un unconscious man for Leo? What's on the unconscious man for Leo? What's going on in the unconscious mind? What's going on in the unconscious man for Leo? Judgments and for a coins. Okay. Mm -hmm. How does Leo see themselves? How do Leo see themselves? Is it does or do? How does? Does. 
How does Leo see themselves? Okay. Four of Cups. Focusing on our cup. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I feel this reading is partly for me. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Uh, how does other, how do others see Leo? How do others see Leo? How do other people see Leo? How do other people see Leo? Okay. Death card. I always like to see that card. I don't know why. It's not pretty, but it is a major card for me. And it makes sense in this reading. Uh, hopes and fears. Hopes or fears for Leo. Hopes or fears for Leo. What's going to be the hopes or fears for Leo? Ooh. I almost dropped the whole thing. Let's hope so, our fears for Leo. Oops, our fears for Leo. Oh. That's hopes. That's got to be hopes. <laughs> it could be a fear too. You know? It could be, but... Probably not. Nope. Good fortune. Clicks yeah. in the wheel. That's major because there's that. That's major. There's. Yeah. There's several major arcana on the board. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. What's going to be the final outcome in this reading for Leo? What's going to be the final outcome? What will be the final outcome for Leo? Be, oh, two pops out. Ooh. <laughs> Queen of Wands and King of Cups. Uh, that's cool. That's cool. King and Queen. Okay. Underlying energy. Yep. Five coins. The balance in that King and Queen. Yep. Okay. Uh, we're going to meditate on it and we will catch you on in a moment. Okay, Leo, we are back. Uh, we've been contemplating your reading right here. It's pretty, yeah, it's pretty, a pretty cool reading, actually. Current situation. Being way up in your heads. This card talks about anxiety, um, night nightmares, potentially, not, not able to sleep. Uh, all that stuff. Okay. That's totally pertaining to me <laughs> adding to that or crosses that uh, we see that as a wounded warrior in this so I think this is just uh, multiplying yeah everything you've been going through thinking about that yeah that energy of all the towers of yeah. January is bleeding into February unfortunately <laughs> mm. And we then, are doing this reading under a full moon right now, too. Yeah. And this just adds to that. Okay. That's the Leo we... full moon. Interesting, because we're doing Leo. Is that a Leo full moon? Yeah, it's a Leo full moon out there. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was... Full moon and Leo. Mm -hmm. Libra. No. Must have got that wrong. Uh, recent past. Four of Wands. That's uh, about your solid foundation. Could be talking about relationship. Or your house. Or your house. Or uh, a solid foundation. That's totally how we see that. I don't know how that resonates with you. But in this reading, we see it as a solid foundation. Okay. It's also a lemon lemon card. Yeah. Yeah, yeah indeed. Marriage. Yep. Mm -hmm. so, but in this reading, it looks more like. 
your foundation, your home, mm -hmm. home base. Okay. Yeah. Near future, justice. So, I'll be seeing that, what's going on in here. Right? We're gonna get some justice in that. A little bit of fair energy, so. That talks to me about universal law too. So, yeah, we feel we're gonna get some justice in whatever that was, what made you do that over here. Over your foundation, yep. Yeah, yep. Conscious minds. <clears throat> Nine of coins talks about abundance, a lot of it. And we feel that that is something that you want. Well, everybody wants that, but that is totally on your mind. And on mine as well. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, this reading gets a little bit personal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Unconsciously. I see this judg judgment as wake-up call. Okay, in this reading. I see it as a wake-up call to hold on to your pentacles, to your material. Hold on tight. Yeah, that might be... You're trying to be this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hold on tight to your material stuff. Uh, that might include, like, insurance and stuff, you know. Yeah. Pay attention to that. How you see yourself... Focusing on what you lack. That talks, uh, Four of Cups talks about that. And other stuff too. We have uh, other expo other explanations for that. But in this reading, we totally see that. Okay. Focusing, yeah, on a cup that you don't have. And the reason why we think that is this card in that position too. Wanting that abundance. Okay. So, focusing what you like, that's how you see yourself. I'll let her see you. Death guards. That is very simple. I'll let her see you going through a transformation. Okay. That might be on every level. And it's interesting. And the rebirth is here too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. A really awesome reading. So, I'll let her see you as transformation going through a transformation okay and not just a little one uh, that's a big one because not only judgment death also got the wheel that's also well that's clicking in the wheel but that's in the hopes and fear position we see it as a hope hope on good luck that's the main uh, for me personally mm -hmm. that is the good luck card okay so yeah we feel that it's hoping on good luck final outcome king of cups and queen of wands king of cups talks to me about communicating your love <laughs> well not really in love, but communicating in general, being a counselor uh, for your family, friends, mainly your significant other, but it could be, yeah, just in general, that is uh, the counselor to me. And Queen of Wands, that is following your intuition and gut instinct really and totally acting upon it without hesitation just going for it okay whatever's on your mind um, yeah speak up okay that is totally what I see in that position yeah. so I think you're gonna be communicating a lot Leo <laughs> okay to your queen maybe yeah or king and bottom of the deck is Six of Cups. That's interesting because I got Justice here too. 
That's two scales. That's two scales. That's uh, equal give and take is what this talks about, but also balance. Okay. I think uh, it might have to do with this justice card here. Yeah. Universal law. Okay. Balance within that. Okay. D has another angel card. Woo! <laughs> Clear sentience. Yeah, I think it belongs over those two. Archangel Raguel, notice your recurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. Yeah. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Divine guidance. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So there you go, Leo. This was your reading for the second week of February. Uh, Hang in there, the energy will clear up soon enough. Yeah, yep, yep. And uh, comment, like, subscribe. We will definitely appreciate comments. Um, yeah, I hope, you got, hope we see you guys next week uh, for another reading. General Celtic Cross. Heck okay. yeah. Yeah. Here you go, baby. <laughs> Later, Gators. Bye bye. Bye, pussycats. Ah, no. Don't call it that. <laughs>